Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Sherp. I'm the principal of Fox Senior High School. This is my fifth year as head principal at Fox High, and I can tell you that every single year here has been better and better, and we have made so many improvements in the past five years. Prop P, which is a $40 million no tax increase bond issue for the Fox School District. This bond issue has something in it that will positive, positively affect all 11,300 kids in the Fox School District. When I look at the condition of Fox High School and look at the potential of improvements that, that Prop P could bring to us, uh, I get incredibly excited. Fox High is over 60 years old and some of our classrooms, actually many of our classrooms, are in the same condition that they were 60 years ago, which is kind of hard to believe, but it's actually very true. Uh, infrastructure has not been upgraded in some parts of our building in over 60 years, and that has caused for a large degree of, of repair that needs to be done. Specifically, I think I would speak to our science labs. One of the things that I can tell you is that our labs are incredibly outdated compared to what kind of things they should have in a 21st century lab. And then finally, um, our facts classes, where we have our consumer science classes, one of the things we're able to do if we get an upgrade in facilities and to get new, new, um, uh, new equipment for our, our consumer science classes is that we're gonna be able to be a full-fledged culinary art school. In the current conditions of our kitchen, um, we don't have the, the space for the amount of students that we have going through those classrooms. This is something that is so exciting from my perspective, not just for the Fox High School kids, but also for the entire Arnold community, but even more so than just the Arnold community because so many people do use our facility. This Prop P will positively affect, there's something in it for all 11,300 kids. And this will be at no cost to any Fox C6 resident. Please be sure to get out and vote on June 2nd.